Hello everyone. Uh, so uh, in this video, we will check how you can upload the items and set up your menu and everything on the dashboard. So on this, uh, you will have a, a URL for the admin panel. Yes, and you will have your username and password. Once you logged in, you will have this dashboard. So on this dashboard, you will have the sales, today's orders, expenses, which you have added, average order value and everything. So here you can check uh, whatever the sales and uh, yesterday's sales, last seven days sales. If you have multiple outlets, it will show you multiple outlets uh, sales, top five outlets, rates, right? So here you will see location name. So you suppose I have one only one outlet right now and I can check uh, whatever the location name. So I want to print up my location name as Adagen or Parley Point in our or, uh, if you have multiple outlets, uh, then you can write address, phone number, everything, text number. If you have GSTIN number and FSSCI number, you can print here. Uh, then we have the reporting emails. If you, whenever you do the end day, uh, as many uh, emails you want, you can add here. So at the end of the day, they will receive the or uh, um, they will receive uh, the uh, report for the end day. And then you can add the payment mode. How you can add the payment mode free here? So cash, card, phone pay, whatever you want to add. By default, it will be a cash and card currency, and that is a rupees or dollar or pound as per your country. Then UPI ID is this is for the India only. Uh, uh, you can have the UPI ID here, and then you can print a dynamic QR code on the bill. Receipt footer is here, uh, right? Then you can upload your logo and footer image if you want. Do not want to use UPID. You can upload your footer image as a QR code or something where you can uh, page it to Instagram or anything. Then one open other settings are there. Uh, we will discuss it in later part. But uh, uh, if you want to enable the end day option, you can enable from here. Then we have some permissions. So suppose every uh, permissions may have enable disable parts. So if you do not want to give uh, <clears throat> Uh, your cashier so you can change uh, change enable it and you can change the pin so whenever he want to cancel the order he, he will he will be asked to cancel the uh, he will be asked the pin same way all the pin uh, regarding uh, permissions are there you can enable disables uh, right? Uh, right then we have the tables uh, you can add as many tables as you want uh, first you can create the sections like a garden, terrace, AC, non AC hall, like that, then you can add the tables as per the way. Then, then you can change the password for that particular object. Now, let us move to the inventory part, the item master part. So, here you can upload the item master. Yeah, we are not taking this for the inventory, we will just check the item master how you can upload the menu and everything. So, here there are a couple of uh, ways where you can upload the items. Uh, we, we are going to see for the add items, right? Single, single item if you want to upload. First, you can create the categories where you can upload the category and uh, create the category, right? And if you have created the taxes, exclude or include, so you can create, upload, uh, assign the taxes to the category as well. <clears throat> so here uh, you can upload add item. Now uh, here I want to add. Now suppose Indian chart, I want to add Pani Puri. Other name, this will be used uh, for the kitchen print as well. Uh, the feature will be live soon. Uh, item type, wage, non wage. If you are a retail shop, you can add the barcode number or batch number, or product number, HSN number. Uh, if you want to track the inventory, so this inventory is a, like a retail item, direct selling item. This is a non uh, raw material. This is not a raw material. This is direct take, uh, take away uh, items. Uh, sold by each right now we will just see for the uh, each wise weight wise we have a different re uh, re video for the same so suppose i want to place the uh, 100 rupees and mrp in the restaurants you do not need mrp option or something if you are tracking the inventory you can put like uh, whatever the low stock notification and submit so once you save this item will be added and on the pause side you need to sync on that right uh, 
but uh, this is a single single item but you want if you want to upload the bulk upload so go to the item master go to the items and if you want to use uh, excel file then go to here and here you will able to download the excel file and once you download the excel file <coughs> you can upload that in that particular manner and uh, it will be uploaded so you can upload the uh, directly this uh, excel file as well now we have the variation as well so variation is like <clears throat> suppose we have two options in the variation uh, variation and add-ons uh, so in the variation suppose a uh, margarita pizza now here variation is there i want to assign the location and suppose small say 100 rupees online price 120 uh, one then we have medium suppose it's 150 online price is 180 and then we have large which is 200 253 so here you can upload this save and after that you can assign this to particular uh, item as well so suppose margarita if you want to assign the variation so here margarita pizza i want to assign this and upload it okay so here you can add this now variation and add-ons this is quite similar all right but in variation the price will be as per the variation but in add-ons it will be add on the price in the item value so suppose you have we have already created some add-ons like this right so extra trees if you want to add any extra so extra olive i want to take 35 rupees for that and zero so whenever this uh, and you can assign to the item like this same way we did, we did the variation here i want to add ons i want to click and the add ons already extra add ons are there so you can assign this variation if you want to assign the variation to of a whole category then also we have that option you can assign that uh, variation uh, i mean add ons only variation will not be added uh, then about the taxes if you have x and taxes then you can apply or the category wise here is the option for the category wise variation as well <clears throat> so suppose now if you want to change the price for any particular item suppose i want to change for the cold coffee let's see we have that any item all right so here is the call coffee i want to change the price you can click on the price and change the price as well or you can go inside and check multiple outlets and you can check also like i want to place it as 160 rupees so the price will be changed you need to sync on the app side <clears throat> whenever you change anything from here so this is main their item master we are not taking this inventory part right now uh, now we go to the, the reports so in the reports we have sales report item wise sales report category and item wise report category and item wise report balance report are there which is balance report is for the end day option right so here if you have any difference it will show here right and <clears throat> category and item wise report so all the reports will be able to export in csv excellent pdf so you can export all the items so you will see what type top items and everything so there are many kind of reports you have you can have so the sales trends and everything you can manage it from here you can check uh, the whatever the timing and what which dates are good and uh, you can also have the item analytics where you can uh, select the item <coughs> particular item so that particular item what time slots the, those are being sold that also is possible right so and then we have the employees option in more there is an option of employees where you can create the multiple employees in one outlet you can have multiple outlet uh, multiple employees single admin you 
so we have some uh, roles like cashier kitchen manager driver captain so all this uh, are for so i will go through that cashier will be have only for the uh, pos side kitchen manager is for the kitchen uh, kds driver is for the <coughs> uh, rider app which is available on the play store captain is for the taking waiter order captain account manager stock manager sub admin account manager will have access to this dashboard but only related to the, that particular outlet you assigned as well as the stock manager uh, only few access will be there for the account manager and stock manager as per the location assigned as for and the sub admin the sub admin will have access to everything but only the account they have been assigned same way back office manager they will have access to account manager and stock manager combined salesman if you are uh, you are using retail outlets then you can uh, create the report for the salesman how they are how much they are selling <clears throat> then we have the customers uh, whenever you take the order you take the price uh, you take the name and numbers and everything you can have details from here you can check what exactly they are uh, using for uh, also so let's see on this number <clears throat> right now this is not the ledger so i want to check the statistics yes here so as per the statistics you can check how many times he visited which outlet he visited which are the favorite items and all the things uh, will be shown here right <clears throat> you can also export the data if you have uh, already import uh, data available you can import as as well <clears throat> then we have the income and expense option where you can create the categories for the income and expense so suppose i want to create category for the <clears throat> rent i don't want to create any category code uh, right so you can add the expenses in the particular category and then have the report in the uh, outlet wise and all the things so there are uh, some report which can be accessed to for the say, tally import as well so you can just export the data in excel and you can directly import it in the tally so this is also an option available right now <clears throat> you can also create the uh, offers and discounts there are particular offers and discounts which you can use item wise bill amount wise a referral code we have we will have a different video for the same which you can see uh, on the youtube uh, how you can set up the discount and all so this is mostly all for the back, back office dashboard where you can manage your outlet menu and everything from here itself thank you so much